Since I have a working model, I wanted to show you how the suction cup is designed and how it operates. The base of the suction cup consists of the mount and the suction cup. Notice the hole here that is placed in the middle. This hole could be placed to the edge if the suction cup was mounted to the mount as so from, from here to here. This is the hole here. The air passes through the center, comes out this hole, or either is brought in by this hole in order to release the suction. Here you notice a hole drilled to retain the spring and pin along with a rubber seal. The rubber seal is to help seal off the hole from any transmission of air. Notice the top part of the mount. The top part of the mount consists of the lever and a recessed angled groove. This hole is for to allow the spindle to protrude through. This angled groove is located over the pin. As the top is twisted, as the lever is twisted, it either applies pressure to the pin, which seals off the hole to not allow any transmission of air, or allows the pin to retract in order for transmission of air, which releases the suction. When we put the part together, we locate the angle groove over the pin. The retaining clip will help us to keep the, the lever part on top of the mount. There is a recessed angle groove here in order to uh, obtain the retaining clip. Now, with our retaining clip in place, the suction cup is ready to operate. <clears throat> Notice there is a label which can be provided on, off. This is the main feature of this particular suction cup. Since the transmission of air and the lever that operates the transmission of air is in a horizontal plane we have accessibility to the top surface mount of the suction cup with a threaded hole located in the center various apparatuses may be applied to the suction cup which would be held in place during operation i.e. flashlight bowl measuring device or cup holder Notice this crude design of the suction cup is only to show the operation of the suction cup. Hole for transmission of air. Now our hole is hidden. Retaining clip. Threaded in hole. Lever. Now let's notice the operation of the suction cup. This can be done in a, in a number of ways. If I decide to hold the lever by slightly pushing down, I twist the suction cup and it is locked in place. When I twist the top, when I twist the lever in the off direction, air is allowed to, to trans, transfuse the hole and the suction cup is released. If I wanted to design the suction cup with no lever, maybe I just had a, a handle here. I could press down, 
twist and the suction cup is in place. If my lever was here, a simple twist and the suction cup is released. This describes and gives you a 3D view and an operational model of how the suction cup is meant to work and the overall design. Once again, the size of the suction cup could vary, the size of the mounting surface could vary. It may not even be to hold something in place. It could just be a simple lever here where I push down, twist, and I can handle material. I could locate any number of things here. I wanted to add a cup holder, flashlight, measuring device, whatever you will. It can be held in place through the the use of the threaded bolt and re threaded a uh, hole there. I hope this gives you a good understanding of the design and the operation and the intent of this particular mechanical suction cup.